Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a whole booster box of Commander Legends. So this is released on November 20th, 2020, and it's the first draftable Commander set. So we'll be eating the whole box today, not just snacking. And there's a ton of value in here. These boxes go for around 100, 110 US. I think some places were selling them for more, but these prices should settle down. And I will be popping up the prices during this video, but keep in mind they're probably out of date by the time you see them. It would have dropped significantly. Okay, so this tells you about the draft, building your deck, Prismatic Piper. Okay, that's in case you don't get a legendary for your commander. Commander Battle. Here we go, some good info about draft archetypes, things to be looking for when you are drafting. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. So these packs are stuffed full, they've actually got 20 cards per pack. There are 24 packs per box. And we're going to go through the commons and uncommons that we'll actually try to skip from because uh, there is some value there. So let's check it out. So we'll start off here. Let's see, okay, so see if there's anything of value. I don't think so. But just in case, get a look at some of these cards. We will be uh, snacking on this during the week and getting a bit more detail there. Okay, Codex Shredder, Humble Defector. Arcane Signet, pretty sure that was over a buck. And the rare is Sweet Gum Recluse. Very nice. And Slani Eye of the, or Siani Eye of the Storm. Okay, so first legendary creature. Second one is Abomination of Lanoir. Legendary creature Elf Horror. And a Foil Wheel of Misfortune. Nice one. Let's get the foiling going there. Okay, so put foils up there. Oh, look at that. Salamander Warrior. Very cool token. And we've got a add on the other side. Okay. So, liking what I'm seeing so far. On to the next. So, what do people think of these sets so far? In your part of the world, are you actually able to draft in the US? It's, I think that's over about... In the US, things a lot of uh, game stores are uh, not open for gameplay, although they are open to sell boxes and so forth. So, Command Tower, there's a good one. Interpret the signs for the Uncommon Zamacraft Judge. Kumbaj Witches. Yes, Seb McKinnon thought so. I saw the artwork. I'm like, yeah, that style is definitely his. Soul of Eternity is the rare and the legendary Prava of the Steel Legion, Amix Filigree Thrasher, another legendary, a foil Noxious Dragon, and why is that foiling so muddy? Interesting. And the Monarch, yes. Are you familiar with the Monarch mechanic? Leave a note in the comments, it's a fun one. Okay, so we'll just keep our eyes peeled. I'm not seeing anything that rings any bells. There were a bunch of uh, commons that were worth over a buck, although, come to think of it, they might have been the extended art. Okay, make a stand for the uncommons. Burnished heart, that used to be over a buck, not so much these days. Sunset pyramid, and the rare is root weaver druid with a legendary Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator and Nimrus Una's Trickster legendary creature Fairy Knight very cool, a very muddy murder foil and a Prismatic Piper, here it is okay, legendary creature Shapeshifter 3-3 three, three for 5 so if it's in, or if it's your commander, choose a colour before the game begins a Prismatic Piper is the chosen colour, has partner Okay, so that's cool. That's how they solve that problem of not uh, getting a legendary and a soldier. Okay, add on the other side. 
And these packs feel different. I guess they use something different. They're uh, putting in more cards per pack. Let's see if I can get through these any quicker. See if there's anything jumps out at me. Commander's Sphere, that was a rebuck, okay. Uncommons, we have Meteoric Mace, Confiscate, Sifter Worm, and the rare <laughs> Wheel of Misfortune. I don't know what the value is of that one, but uh, we got an extra one. And it's Crack the Thumbless. Legendary Creature Goblin Wizard, 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, flip a coin. If you lose a flip, return that spell to its owner's hand. If you win the flip, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. And this bloke can partner as well. Double or nothing is the flavor text. Love it. Okay, and a Mythic. A Chroma Vision of Ixador. Okay, so this is our second Legendary with a foil aqueous form and copy token. Okay, actually I should put the mythics aside. Let's put the mythics up the top here. Keep an eye on them, we'll do a count. And at the end of the video, I'll pop up the total value for the box. So let's see here, anything jumps out at me. Okay. We have Vow of Flight for the Uncommons, Kanji's Lieutenant, Shimomir, and the rare is Amphan Mutineer. Creature Salamander Pirate, okay, that's a thing. And the legendary is Nadia, Agent of the Duskanel, with Queen Itinerant Medlar. Yes, this is my favorite commander in the set. Legendary Creature Rabbit Wizard, I think you can guess why. One, three for two. Tap each player, may draw a card, then each player who drew a card this way gains one life. Actually, the uh, it's a toss-up, is it? Ooh, is it the goblin or the rabbit? I don't know. Why so slow? Why so slow? Hurry up, you never know what you'll find. And I think there's also a uh, tortoise or turtle uh, commander we'll be keeping our eyes peeled for. And a thorn of the black rose foil with treasure. So I don't think you can get the extended arts in this one. Maybe that's just in the uh, collector boosters. And we've got a Goblin Trailblazer there. And here we go. Got a bit of a strange arrangement and all the cards are, yeah, they like to slide around. So that's a sign of good card quality, I think. Okay, we have Mindless Automaton. Noxious Dragon, Guildless Commons, and the rare is Court of Bounty with Thalys Reverent Medium is the legendary. Second legendary is Halana Kessig Ranger, a Foil Haunted Cloak, and a Soldier Token. Okay, so Preordain, I'm not sure about that one that used the Overbuck. Let's get through here. Wild size goblins. Okay, Opal Palace. I'm not sure about. I'll find out during editing all the prices. Okay, we've got Burning Anger for the Uncommon Skilled Animator, Sandstone Oracle, and the rare is Slash the Ranks. And the. Oh, what's this? Another goblin? It's Togo Goblin Weaponsmith, Legendary Creature Goblin Artificer. 2-2 two, two for 3 whenever land and spread for it under your control. Create a colorless equipment artifact token named Rock. <laughs> I see where this is going. With a equip creature has pay 1 tap. Sacrifice Rock. This target or this creature deals 2 damage to any target. And equip 1 has partner. Yeah, so he's throwing a rock. That is fun. All right. And Toya Bear Claw. Second legendary. And a very dark and muddy Vow of Torment. And a copy. So what is up? Have you noticed these foils are very muddy? It reminds me a little bit of Iconic Masters. They had a problem where you had these blurry rummaging goblin, there he is, uh, these very blurry muddy foils and I was not impressed with that at all. Okay, Uncommon's Omen, Omen, Open the Armory! Guilt Leaf Winnower, Strength of the Pack and the rare is Zat's Will.
That's pretty sinister. And the legendary is Elena Kessig Trapper with Sengir the Dark Baron. Nice one. Legendary creature, Vampire Noble. He's back. And Flood of Recollection Foil with a Prismatic Piper. Okay. So Foil here, Prismatic Piper here, and a Copy Token. I don't know what's going on, people. Alright, let's get stuck into the next. We've got these fake uh, Ixlan Monkey Goblins. Not impressed with them. Commander's Sphere. Okay. Next up we have Val of Wildness. Lightning Rig Crew, Creature Goblin Pirate, the Fake I Tell You Ordeal of Nylea. And Nightshade Harvester is the rare with Keskit. What is that? Keskit the Flesh Sculptor. Ooh, okay, there's the first legendary. Glacian Powerstone Engineer, a Foil Elvish Doomsayer, and Spirit Token. And this product, apparently, they're just going to keep on printing it, so no worries about uh, missing out. There'll be plenty to go around. Uh, usually, this sort of thing, they would probably print for a year. Although, Modern Horizons, I think, is, uh, they've been uh, out for well over a year, probably closer to two years at this point. We have Horizon Scholar, Mask of Memory, and Feast of Succession, said McKinnon. Yep, again. And a Mythic Soul Fire Eruption. Okay, so second Mythic popped it over there. Uh, Rami of the Dead Tide. Okay, first of our legendaries. Get him in focus. Rograk, son of Rugar. Legendary creature, Kobold Warrior. A foil, raise the alarm, and angel token. Okay, so two Mythics so far. We are about halfway through through here. I think we're making decent time. Okay, so not seeing anything over a buck there. Okay, we have Vow of Duty Ingenuity Engine, Hero's Blade, and the rare is Jessica's Will with legendary Anara Wolverd Familiar. Okay, very fancy wolf beast there. And Kolfenau, the last you, legendary creature, tree folk shaman. Some nice artwork on that one. And a foil wild size. All right. With an elf warrior token. So what is your favorite card from the set so far? Is it uh, Krak the Thumbless? I'd have to say it's either him or the um, rabbit commander, I think. Isn't that the first rabbit commander we've gotten? I think it is. Okay, I'm a little bit candid here. Alright, we have Explosion of Riches, Stinger Fling Spider, Dreamstone Hedron, and the rare is Rejuvenating Springs. Very scenic, legendary, Arden Intrepid Archaeologist, and Itch Techic Salvage Splicer. With a foil filigree familiar and elf warrior token. Liking the artwork on the elf warrior there. Very cool. Okay, so let's see. Preordain. I keep thinking that was over a buck, but maybe that's an older printing. Okay, Supreme Will. Okay, for the uncommons. I thought that used to be a rare as well. Ors of Advocist, Demonic Law, and the rare is Plague Reaver. With Breaches, Brazen, Plunderer, Legendary Creature, Goblin, Pirate. Okay, loaded full of goblins, I'm happy. And Kodama of the East Tree. A foil, Prava of the Still Legion, and a horror token. Look at that. Isn't that horrifying? That is very cool. So liking the artwork on the tokens so far. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Still have not found the jeweled lotus that everybody is screaming about. 
I think there's also, what is it, Vampiric Tutor, Mana Drain is in here as well. Pennon Blade is the first uncommon. Monstrous Onslaught, Slaughter the Strong, and rare is War Room. And Rebecca, Architect of Ascension for the Legendaries, Hamza, Guardian of Arashin, and a foil, Howling Golem, with a Prismatic Piper. Fancy seeing you again. And a zombie token. Okay, so we've got a few Prismatic Pipers, so I think they give you enough that if you were drafting this with eight people, uh, even if you did not get a Legendary, you can use the Piper and that will help you out. What's this? Inquisitive Pilferer, Creature Goblin Pirate. I really should have done more research before I got stuck into this box. There's more Goblins than I was expecting. That is pretty impressive. Vow of Lightning. Thirst for Knowledge, Scaled Behemoth, Creature Crocodile, and Horizon Stone is the rare. Okay, Kedis Emberclaw Familiar, Elemental Lizard for the Legendaries, Galanra, Cooler of Wirewood, Foil, Avon, Surveyor, and another Zombie. Okay, two thirds of the way through here. We're keeping up a decent pace. I was worried this was going to be like an hour long video, but uh, skipping through the commons really helps. But we will be focusing more on those when we get to our snack videos, so stay tuned. Intangible Virtue, Lawseeker's Stone, Victimize, and a Mythic! Yes! Jeweled Lotus! Fantastic pull! This is going for an absurd amount of money. At the time of filming, we pulled it. Okay, the only thing better is a foil extended art version. Pop that over there. Dago the Shipwrecker for the legendaries. Amareth the Lustrous. Legendary Creature Dragon and a foil Charcoal Diamond and a Salamander Warrior Token. All right, we are doing fantastically well. That uh, Jeweled Lotus, I think, has just about paid, well, paid for two-thirds of the box, shall we say. I paid uh, 95 each for these. So, amazing price from my LGS. Very impressed with that. Okay, we've got Angelic Armaments, Volcanic Dragon, Thought Vessel. I think that's over a buck. And rare is Coercive Recruiter, Creature Orc Pirate, and the legendary is Miara Thorn of the Glade, followed by Jury Master of the Review, in the Rakdos Colors, a Foil Champion of the Flame, and Treasure. So the next question is, how many Jeweled Lotuses can you pull in one box? I've heard of people not pulling any jeweled lotuses, which I guess it's a mythic, makes sense. Um, but have you pulled more than one? Very curious. Daring Saboteur, Hunter's Insight, Guilt Leaf Winnower, and rare is a Chroma's Will, with legendary Tormod the Desecrator, legendary creature Zombie Wizard, Kangi Skywarden, and a foil Palace Sentinels, with, of course, Prismatic Piper and Soldier Token. So they've got absolutely tons of new legendaries here. I'm pretty sure they're not all reprints. Some of them might be, but mostly new ones, from what I understand. Okay, next up we have Faith's Fetters, Null Caller, Vampire Shaman. Grafted War Gear and a Mythic Mnemonic Deluge. Okay. So that is the fourth Mythic. And Brinolin, the Moon Kraken. What the heck is that? Okay. Blim, Comedic Genius, Legendary Creature Imp. A Foil Meteor Golem and a Thrall Token. Okay, I did not know Thralls were in the set. And clearly card quality is excellent here because I've got cards flinging around everywhere. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm not seeing too much value in the, oh, Mox Diamond, interesting, in the common slot so far. Okay, uncommons, we have Furnace Celebration, Patron of the Valiant. Three visits, and the rare is Magus of the Order, Legendary Jared Carthalian True Heir, Belborka Spectral Sergeant, a Foil Ivy Lane Denizen, and Elf Warrior. Let's see if we can get a Foil Mythic. I don't know, have we got any Foil Rares yet? I don't remember seeing any. Impulsive Pilferer, there he is. I'll uh, spend more time on you, sir, when we do these snack videos. Really slow down, soak it all up. Right now we're just trying to get through as fast as we can, which isn't terribly fast. We've got Siren Storm Tamer, Open the Armory, Revenant. And the rare is Rakshasa Debaser, Creature Cat Demon. Watch out for those. And Falthus Shadow Cat Familiar, Legendary Creature Nightmare Cat. As if the glowing no or glowing mouth and eyes weren't an indication. And another mythic. Yes, Jessica. Thrice reborn. Legendary Planeswalker Jessica. Fantastic pull. Okay, five mythics. Foil, Rupture Spire. And the Monarch. Are you the Monarch when you play Commander? Seems like a fun mechanic. It's been around, what, since Conspiracy, I think? Um, maybe it's been around earlier. Leave a note in the comments if you know about that. Okay, next up we have Golem Artisan, Brass Herald, Volcanic Torrent, and the rare is Wrong Turn. Oh dear. And Emoti Celebrant of Bounty is the first legendary. Radiant Sarah Archangel, a Foil Portent of Betrayal, another Prismatic Piper, and some treasure. Okay, so we have two packs left. The chances of a foil, rare, or mythic are dimming by the minute. Okay, so let's zip through here. Apologies for the focus. This camera is getting a little old these days. Okay, we've got Coastline Marauders. Warden of Evos Isle, Reclamation Sage, and the rare is Promise of Tomorrow. With a Captain Vargas Wrath, Legendary Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro, and a foil, here we go, foil rare. It's not, yeah, it doesn't seem to be catching light very well. Keeper of the Accord. And a soldier, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, we will have a ton more Commander Legends coming up. And if you missed the Commander decks we did on the channel, I'll pop a link in the corner to the Commander playlist. So you can check those out. I think those are pretty decent as well. Okay, Command Tower... And we are on the final pack. What will we see? Fencing Ace. Meteor Golem. Pride of the Perfect. And the rare is Blasphemous Act. With a legendary Alharu Solemn Ritualist. Second one is Nostro Voice of the Crags. Legendary Creature Chimera. Interesting. Oh, yes. This is the foil etched. Nice. Kesket the Flesh Sculptor. I don't know how I can show that. There's like this foiling around the edges. That is pretty cool. Looks like, oh, there's foil. Yeah, all different sorts of edges. All right, so I guess one of these per box. And the Monarch. Okay, that is impressive. Yeah, I think it catches the light better if I hold it back down here. Very cool. Okay, so here is the total value. I think we did pretty well, especially with that Jeweled Lotus. Uh, I'm wondering if it will turn into Jeweled Lotus or Bust. Hopefully not. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.